Hello scientific people, we are going to solve today question number 13 of Wave Optics Standard 12 Physics Gujarat Board Textbook. Here they are giving, giving the problem as we are working with YDSA setup which is immersed inside a liquid refractive index given, small d given, capital D given, wavelength is also given, right? Okay. And they are asking us to find out the consecutive distance between two bright fringes. So the given data are as under. So we have lambda as 6300 angstroms and the entire setup is inside a liquid. So let us draw this. This distance is small d. This distance is capital D. Correct. And the wavelength is given. Refractive index is 1.33. So this is clearly water. Correct. And small d is 1 mm. And capital D is what is capital D? 1.33 meters. Okay. So small d is 1 mm. And capital D is 1.33 meters. So the distance between two consecutive bright fringes suppose this is one and this is the another and the distance between two consecutive fringes is given by x bar sometimes we also call this as beta the fringe width this is equal to lambda capital D by small d but the lambda which we measure is this point on the screen lambda is a is a measurement which is taken where the superposition takes place that means lambda is measured on the screen and the screen is immersed in the water. So now the new wavelength would be lambda original divided by mu because at this point the wavelength of light would be lesser than that of the air. So this is the wavelength in air but when we dip this inside water, when we dip this source inside water its wavelength decreases by mu times. So multiply by capital D by small d. So x bar is equal to lambda that is 6300 into 10 raised to minus 10 meters this is in air but we have to divide this by 1.33 because that would be the wavelength decreased wavelength in water this is 1.33 meters upon small d is 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters right so if you find out this answer i mean if you calculate this you will get your required answer which is shown over here 0 0.63 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters correct so if you solve this you will get your answer as 0 0.63 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter this is the first part of the problem now let us look at the second problem second part of the problem so here they are telling us the same solution the same uh, apparatus is inside the liquid but now this time we are covering any one of the slit with a glass plate of refractive index 1.53 so let me tell you this very quickly if you put suppose if you put a glass plate over here then we know that the fringe pattern will be shifted up if you put this glass plate down then the fringe pattern will be shifted down and now at this point the path difference which was initially zero now the path difference would be equal to mu minus one times t and if i say that the third bright fringe from the bottom is shifted over here then I can also say that at this point the path difference is 3 lambda so I can equate this equation by 3 lambda. In the question they are telling us that at this point first dark fringe from the bottom has shifted up. So first dark fringe so we know that the path difference condition for the dark fringes is 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 and if I substitute first dark over here n is equal to 1 I will get delta x as lambda by 2. So now I know the path difference at this point is mu minus 1 times t that is equal to lambda by 2 but I will not solve this question in a hurry because the problem is this entire setup is also dipped inside liquid. So now we have to make slight changes over here in this equation because this is the refractive index of glass with respect to air. But now since the entire setup is inside water then the refractive index of glass with respect to water has to be taken so divided by refractive index of water and similarly this was the wavelength in air.
Now since this wavelength is measured at the point of superposition that means the screen at this point. So here again this part is immersed in water so I will have to divide this wavelength by refractive index of water. Correct. Most of the viewers will think I will cancel mu g from here. That is incorrect because here it is minus 1. So mu g minus mu w times t upon mu w that is equal to lambda by 2 into mu w. Now you can cancel this mu w and find out this thickness as lambda upon twice of mu g minus mu w and now I leave this calculation on my viewers and the fine sense of judgment and I know that you will be able to do this very easily because my uh, my way was just to guide you people and hopefully you have enjoyed the explanation and if you have doubts please do comment in the comment section definitely you will get your answer as this one right okay so if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video